Hi, welcome to uh, Vision on TV. We're at the Rebellious Media Conference in London and we're speaking to Jessica Azule, who's from the US, and you've been involved in a publication called The New Standard. Radical media, would you say? What, what made it radical? The New Standard was radical in um, many different ways. Um, we were a hard news publication. We published on the web. And um, our approach to news reporting was radical in that radical comes from the word root. Um, we sought to get to the root causes of the issues that we um, reported on. So not just you know quoting people, but also looking at the institutional forces behind um, events and issues that we were reporting on. Um, we were also radical in the way that we were funded. We took we were commercial free. We took no money from advertisers or foundations. Um, we were truly independent. All of our money came from our readers. And we were also radical in our internal structure. We were a non-hierarchical collective um, that ran on the principles of an economic vision called participatory economics. Um, so not only did we have no bosses, but we also um, organized our division of labor so that we spread empowerment across the collective. We so kind of like a flat structure. Um, you know, did everyone have a similar? Well, there wasn't a hierarchy as such, or yeah, there was no. We were all in charge. Um, we all shared in the decision making. We all spent about the same number of hours um, doing decision making in meetings and um, committee meetings and etc. But um, in order to share in the decision making, we believed that everybody needed to have balance of empowerment across the collective, which meant that people had a mix of empowering work, which in our case was the content production, news reporting, editing, website building, etc. Um, and we also shared in the drudge work of the organization. So we didn't have a division in the organization where some people were doing um, the empowering work that leads to access to information and leverage. We're doing the drudgery, uh, boring stuff and wishing they were doing the journalism and the exciting print. Exactly. So what gave you what, what gave you the idea to to found that um, publication in the first place? Um, well, I think it was just frustration with um, the corporate media. Um, we were my co-founder and I were both writers, and um, we were very skeptical and critical of the corporate media. Um, but we also thought the format of the corporate media, hard news journalism, was a format that um, was a little more accessible or. Um, also backed up by research, or was supposed to be backed up by research, um, as compared to what a lot of the alternative media around us was publishing, a lot of um, commentary and opinion. Um, and we kind of wanted to bridge the two, to have um, a radical publication that was covering the issues that the alternative media was covering, but in the style of hard news journalism. Um, leaving the writer's opinion um, I mean, obviously the writer has bias and um, the writer makes, writers and editors make decisions about what stories they're going to publish and who they're going to interview and where those, where the quotes, etc., where the information is placed in the article. Those are all decisions that we felt there should be, a, those should be intentional decisions and should be discussed. Um, but the writer um, herself should not be, her opinion should not be in the narrative of the article. Okay. Oh, when it, when ideology basically. yeah when I saw the website it did look fantastic but it, it's not it's not working anymore is it so any lessons learned you could talk anyone who wants to set up an online print uh, journalism radical media what, what would you say to them something well um, I would say it was a very difficult um, project um, but it was also extremely rewarding um, Hard news journalism is uh, very time consuming if you do it right. If you check your sources, if you look behind the issues to get at those bigger issues, you have to do a lot of research. Um, if you're going to have transparent media that really exposes the biases and the funding behind the information that you're presenting, um, if you're going to access various viewpoints, um, it's very time consuming to do it right. Um, so it's expensive. Um, just to be able to support the journalists who are doing that work. Um, and we, unfortunately, were not able... We actually had um, our readership, though it was small, gave us, um, percentage-wise, a, a very big amount of funding. Um, per reader, we got a lot of money. However, our readership wasn't large enough um, to sustain people doing that. Um, 
but it was um, extremely inspiring experience for me. And also, the um, internal workplace structure was very empowering for me, and I think for my coworkers. And so I would encourage anybody who wanted to do um, their own media to look at that internal workplace structure and implement it in their own workplace. Um, and, you know, to make radical media. Yeah. Well, it's great to know that despite the fact it's not going now, it was totally inspiring and empowering. So all of you out there, get going, start making radical media. Thank you, Jessica. You've been on Vision on TV.